Okay, this is a short video on how to take a photograph and put it inside of a word in Photoshop and then to edit the word and crop it itself. So we would prefer to use your own photograph, but we understand that some of you do not have a large photo library. So you may use one offline. Um, for example, you can go to unsplash.com to find legal photos to use. For example, if you really like to go camping or to the beach, you can use a photograph that represents that for you. Then you're gonna use a word that represents the photograph for you. For example, if you like to go camping and you want to use the word woods, you could use that. Perhaps you're gonna use a picture of your pet, you could use their name. First thing you need to do for this assignment is open up your photograph inside a Photoshop Make sure it looks how you want it to look. And then you need to go over here to the layers. Now, in the layer panel, if the lock is turned off, this little icon is here. If it's not, you can ignore this step. But if it is, you have to double click. Uh, and when you double click, do not double click on the word. Do not double click on the picture. Click over here and press OK. And that will unlock it for you. The next step is to pick a background color. This will be the color of your graphic that you're making. Click on the little circle down here and choose solid color. When you do it, it's going to ask you what color do you want to use? Well, I'm going to use some sort of like maybe dark brownish red color right there. And because the solid color fill layer is above the camera picture, you can't see it. So we're going to drag this layer down below so now it's hidden so these little icons over here these little eyeballs allow you to make layers visible and invisible okay so the next step is our word you're going to create a new layer right here you're going to click on the little plus sign and because it's underneath of the camera picture, whatever your picture is, in my case it's a camera, turn that visibility off. So you can't see the picture above it. So you have this text layer here. Then go to your text tool, shortcut T, click on text tool, and then decide up here, there's lots of different options in the option menu for text. Arial's nice, fat, bold size. So I'm going to click there. It gives you some sample letters and they're already highlighted. So I'm just going to type in my word, in my case, Nikon. That's what I'm going to use for this assignment. If I want to change the size, I'm going to go up here and change the size here. Yours might be very, very little. When you do it, it may look like this, real tiny. So you have two options. One, you can change the size up here by typing the size you want or what you can also do is go to select the move tool and hit command T, which is transform. It'll give these little square white boxes around. If you grab a corner, it will allow you to make this a lot bigger. It transforms the layer, in this case, text. That looks pretty good. Now, if I want to stretch it a little bit, if I grab this, it'll keep the ratio. So I have to hold the shift key down. If I hold the shift key down and I grab that, it'll stretch the word. Okay, hit enter when you're done. If you want to change the font because you don't like this font or whatever font's showing up on your computer, go back to the text tool, select it all, go here, and start scrolling through all the fonts that are on your computer. Okay, there are lots of different options here, guys. So let's find something I like. Um. I don't know. That was okay. It's a little too wide now, so go back over to the move tool. Hit command T. I'm going to make it fit. There we go. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit just because I want to. I'm going to hit enter. Now, turn on your picture layer again. And then go make sure you select your picture layer and right click. 
When you right click, you're going to do create clipping mask. If your right click button is not turned on your mouse, then we will have to turn it on together in class. It's under system preferences. Create clipping mask. And when you do that, now my camera's coming through. Well, if you want to adjust things, for example, I'm still on the picture layer and I'm still on the move tool. I can move around. Oh, I kind of like that a little better. I want to see the top of the camera a little bit. There you go. Or maybe I kind of want the, the, the lens right in the middle, but here it's cutting off the edge. So that happens. I need to make this a little bit larger. There we go. Or that's how I want it. So I don't know. I'm just playing around here. If you have an animal that you're doing this with, try to put their eyeballs inside the letters so you can see them. Once you've done that, there are a few more steps. The next step is to click back on the text layer. We're going to add some interest to the text layer by double clicking on that layer. Double click on it. It'll bring up the layer style box. And watch the text. So first I'm, I'm going to turn on bevel and emboss. And it changed the edge, changed the outside edge a bit. So I'm going to select that. You have to highlight it. And I could change the depth. I'm going to change the size. I can make this look very, very, very textured. I can add some actual texture here. Some different patterns in here that are kind of fun. Like this one that's like trees and such. It's kind of weird. And I can have it be not as crazy by scaling it back a little bit. I don't think I like that. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Pretty much here, you're just going to play with it. I don't like this. I'm going to turn it off. Stroke is fun. Stroke allows you to put a line around the outside. Don't ever do this. And you can make the line whatever color you want. And you want to add a little bit of interest to it. You may make it blue. Or you can even pick a color off the actual photo. Isn't that cool? So instead of picking over here, just move your mouse. And there's that orange color right there. I like that. Hit okay, OK. Looks kind of cool. Very, very subtle. It's this orangey brown color. You can kind of see it. If you want to drop shadow, drop shadows are cool. Wow, that's pretty bright. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. see here yeah just a little bit of depth not too much there you can kind of see it there now a little bit more okay so you play some of these other ones guys whatever you think might be cool some are okay some are weird that's kind of cool I don't hate that kind of adds a, like a dimension to it when you're done, when you like what's over here, you hit OK. Now, that's looking great. I am almost done. The last thing I'm going to do is crop this. Now, I taught you how to crop in ratio aspect. For this, I'm going to ask you to crop out of ratio aspect. I'm going to press, I'm going to go over here to choose my marquee tool. Rectangular marquee tool. It's a little rectangle. And I am going to draw with my mouse a rectangle around my word right there. Now leave a little bit of space. You don't want to cut off anything on the edges. Once you have a little bit of space left around, I'm going to go to image, crop. Okay. And that's it, guys. That's, this is what you're submitting to me. You are going to save this. I highly suggest that you save the PSD file on your computer, wherever you're saving work. Okay, Let's see, yep, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. And then again, I'm gonna export it for Canvas like I usually do. You do this with every assignment file, export, save for web. Make sure this is JPEG high. Width and height, your width, the longer number is always 1600 for Canvas will automatically change the bottom number or the shorter number. Hit save. I'm going to call it whatever I want to call it. Um, let's call it picture text, pick text. 
canvas, so we know it's a canvas version. Hit save, and that's it. That's what you're submitting. This is due by Thursday evening. Thanks, guys. This is a fun tutorial. It's a fun little trick. It teaches you a little bit more about layers, and it teaches you about clipping masks. You can see here, over here on layer zero, on the picture layer, there's a little down arrow. That means it's clipped to this. So this layer will only show up on whatever's right below it. It's a great thing to know. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.